Alright, so this is going to be my part of my video series called Reforming John Cena. And the reason I'm doing this is simple. Now, the first time I really started getting into wrestling was around the early Ruthless Aggression era. And then I tuned out of that shit for a while so I didn't know what was going on. So what happened was that in 2010 when I started watching this shit again, it turns out that I was I was waiting for Cena in the beginning because I didn't know that his character went through a change. And for about three pay-per-views it took me a couple and then I realized like this is a different Cena. After that I started really researching into the subject trying to understand what I've missed out on trying to see what I failed to understand and it seems that this John Cena and the John Cena that I was seeing back in the early Ruthless Aggression era compared to this early PG era they're a couple of different guys they're very different even the five moves of doom are a little bit more different now in terms of his theatrics and the way he executes it. For starters, how do you fix him? Part one, and that's this part, is going to address the five moves of Doom. It's going to use a lot of what Schlag Daddy and other people mention. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid sounding like a mark. I'm trying to use some of the logic and reason that I employ and use in my political videos so that this becomes all the more better to watch and constructive. There's one common mistake people mention when they think of the five moves of Doom. They assume that it's his entire move set that he does in a matchup. He uses an average of 13 moves per match that are all different. Albeit some of these are very generic moves, but nonetheless they are different moves and there's a variety in them. The thing is though, with John Cena, the problem is that the five moves of Doom is a row. It's a five Role of it's a role of five moves that he does before finishing off his opponents. It starts off with one shoulder tackle, another shoulder tackle, tackle. I said shoulder taco. It's weird. A spin out power bomb, also known as the protoplex, which is along with five knuckle shuffle, one of his old finishers in OVW. Then he executes the giant fist drop, also known as the five knuckle shuffle. And then the fireman's carry takeover, also known as the FU or attitude adjustments. A lot of top superstars like The Rock and Hulk Hogan have a move set where they finish off their opponent with a row of different varied moves showing different assets of the character however if John Cena this row of five really blows and I'm trying to find out why this is the case and why when I look at these matches I'm thinking wow this is stupid one of the reasons I think that it's really degrading is that almost certainly there's going to be this effect where the combos are either going to get broken near the end or before it even starts. It's never broken after the first shoulder tackle. And very rarely after the second one. And almost certainly not after the spin-out powerbomb 
Although after five knuckle shuffle when he's about to do the FU, it usually backfires and comes back to him. And that really kills the moveset because he uses it a lot and it never certainly gets the job done. It never even almost certainly gets the job done. He usually has to resort to finishing off from where he left off. So if he does two shoulder tackles, then he gets his ass beat. He might have to refute one of the other person's moves with a spin out power bomb or protoplex and then proceed from there. So it's not the case that it'll start from the first move all the way to the fifth move. It could even skip to the third move, fourth move, or straight towards the fifth move, although that almost never happens. And that's kind of weird. And another problem I noticed with this is that it doesn't really get people excited. I mean, he has this look of a deer in headlights when he's about to do the five knuckle shuffle. He raises his arms up, then he does the you can't see me to his opponent, bounces across the ropes and turnbuckles, and then proceeds to do the fist drop. And I wouldn't really be excited if I was live, and I did see John Cena compete live when this happens, because, I don't know, it's something that Cena can't pull off. He can't pull off that, oh, I'm about to whoop his ass, this is my five moves of doom, I'm about to knock this bitch out, type thing. And, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Also, how do I think this is going to be reformed? How do you think that I'm going to be able to come up with the idea of how Cena can improve upon this five moves of Doom thing. Well, first off, you gotta at least take out one of those shoulder tackles and make it seem a little bit more stiff like the way Sheamus does it, where he does it from the top rope or the second rope, and he really makes it stiff and powerful, and it looks like it can take out the other person but then again Seamus is a pretty solid guy and although John Cena is big and brolic he doesn't have that weird Seamus blocking this that makes it look more painful so he has to probably work a little more on his image and then do that shoulder tackle in a much more stiff manner a little bit more hard styled and just one. If he does it twice, then it just looks stupid. It's like, you got hit by the first one, why are you going to get up to get hit by the second one? And, I'll, and it's always, and this is always the case. Next, I think that with, hmm, the FU when he does that shit, he should make it more of a, fireman's carry power slam instead of a typical fireman's carry takeover. What I mean is that with the body slam you're kind of spinning and turning the opponent to try to build up some more force and momentum on the slam. With the strength John Cena has he can do this without hurting the opponent. He did the same thing with Matt Stryker. That was a very powerful FU. With this, with the normal FU, it's a takeover. It just looks like he gently drops them upon lifting them in the fireman's carry position. And it doesn't have the same effect or appearance and power. It really degrades the move. Mm. <clears throat> Another thing is that I think that he should change the theatrics for the five knuckle shuffle and maybe target something different when he executes it. Maybe he should do like a five knuckle shuffle 
to the heart of his opponent. That would look a little bit more dangerous and I mean, he changed the theatrics once and I don't think it was a good change to what he does now. Before he did that weird dance, before he did the five knuckle shuffle and okay. He also should stop getting deer and headlights look. That's something Rock does and Hogan. I think that he should probably try a more aggressive, yeah, I'm tough, G.I. Joe type look. What he does is get really serious or angry. You know when he do, you know, after a match, when Cena all of a sudden gets superpowers and starts knocking out everyone in the stage and clearing house, and he gets really brolic and red? You can see after his... 2008 Royal Rumble match where he beats Triple H by knocking him over the top rope. He does that weird expression. He should do that right before he does the five knuckle shuffle. Just get really hype and do a very stiff looking five knuckle shuffle to the heart. Yeah. And as for the protoplex or spin out power bomb, hmm, I don't know how he can. Maybe he can try and get the other person to say, Alright, well, I'm doing the best I can here. Maybe you can really try hard to sell this move as being really solid. Maybe you can help me push some more momentum with the move. Get a bit of a bounce effect. Maybe a stronger spin or force or velocity. Or, since you're light... When I lift you up for the spin out power bomb, maybe it can get you really high, like over my head. That's a good idea for me. So that's how you can reform the move. That way it won't be the five moves of doom. It'll be the four moves of doom in a good way. In conclusion... Oh yeah, it's, he should do this... And it's always successful, unless he's facing someone who's really tough or smart. That way it would solve this whole predicament with John Cena's five moves of doom. That's all I really got to say. In conclusion, have the move be a little bit more successful. Make it, Get rid of the second shoulder tackle. And just make the first one really stiff and powerful. Change the theatrics for the five knuckle shuffle. So maybe you're hulking up the way Cena does it, where he gets red and brolic. Uh, have the protoplex have more momentum. You can get the two wrestlers to uh, sell this move in such a way. And make the F you have more momentum as well. Like the one where it's not a f fireman's carry takeover, but a fireman's carry body slam, where he basically spins and adds more force and momentum to it instead of just gently dropping them. That's all I gotta say, really. If he does that, then at least that problem will be solved.